This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a metronome is a device used in music to help musicians keep a consistent tempo or beat while playing or practicing. It produces a regular steady sound, typically in the form of clicks or beats per minute, to aid musicians in maintaining the desired rhythm. Metronome, metronomes come in various forms, including mechanical metronomes, electronic metronomes and digital metronome applications. The device presented in this video is actually a digital metronome that contains an array of LEDs that simulate the movement of the weighted pendulum. The movement on the weight in the vertical road has been replaced by a slight potentiometer and the current beats per minute in displayed, in, is displayed on a small, small OLED screen. The LEDs and potentiometer uh, are placed in such a way that the device looks very much like an original mechanical metronome. Both of these devices is very simple to make and consists of several components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, 8 LEDs, slide potentiometer with a value between 10 or and 200 kilo ohms, two active buzzers, SSD 1406 OLED display and 470 ohm resistor. Considering that only one diode is always active at a time, instead of 8 resistor uh, on each anode, I put only one resistor on the common cathodes to ground. In that way the circuit is significantly simplified. Also for sound indicators, instead of one, I use two active buzzers uh, which are very cheap. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we got a sharp clear sound which is a basic equipment for this device and there is also no need to complicate the code. I connect I connect the buzzers directly to D2 and D9 uh, outputs. Also, the code is very simple and can easily be modified for a different number of LEDs. Of course, the part with my logo and device name in the void setup section can be removed. Even for simplicity, the OLED display can be omitted and then draw a BPM scale near the slide potentiometer. Now let's see how the device works in reality. After switching on, in the first few seconds the previously defined logo appears as well as information about the device type. Then conditionally speaking the pendulum starts moving uh, at speed that depends of the position on the position of the potentiometer. When the potentiometer is higher the oscillation slows down and vice versa. The current BPM is displayed on the OLED display. The first 
and the last diode uh, are of different colors and indicate the moment of activating the buzzers. The movement of the diodes is actually a Knight Rider LED effect, the speed, the speed of which is controlled by a potentiometer. And finally, this is a simple be beginner Arduino project with a great visual effect but also very useful tool when learning to play a musical instrument. In the following, let's look at the method of making this device.